Welcome to a very cold southern Spain. Uh, Malaga is over that way. The famous Ascari racetrack is over there. And this is the famous Ronda Road, um, which I've ridden countless times and it's normally warmer, but it's only a couple of degrees, hence I've got the, the suit on. Um, today we are with Triumph, as you can tell. Let me get closer to the bike on their speed triple 1200 RR. New bike for 2022, obviously heavily based on the naked version, but we've got the Cafe Racer bodywork, semi-active all-in suspension. There's the shock on the rear. So the, the rider mode's now obviously changed the suspension, where the naked version has manual suspension. We've got carbon accessories, the distinctive nose, Cafe Racer style, Stylema, Brembo brakes, span adjustable levers and ratio levers, and we're going Pirelli Supercourses, which is struggling a little bit in these really, really cold temperatures. But we've got half a day on road, followed by half a day on track. Although this road is a little bit like a racetrack. <laughs> Ascari, which is an absolutely stunning racetrack. Um, it's one nobody races here, I don't think. It's nearly six kilometers long, if I remember rightly. Um, beautiful, beautiful racetrack, beautiful complex. Not really designed for bikes, um, but it's an interesting track with undulations, um, off camber, positive camber, but it'd be a good test. Oh. Be a good test of the bike, which Triumph admit is more of a road bike than a race bike. But we've got slightly different tyres, so we're going for ST2s. We've got tyre warmers um, with a semi active suspension, there's no need to get our hands dirty. All we've got basically do is put it into track mode and it should be sorted and ready to go. But the same with the traction control and the ABS, just flick it into track mode and it changes. So. Let's go get out on track and give it a spanking. So we're just coming to the end of our test of Triumph's new 1200RR. Cafe racer, sports bike, call it what you want. So we've had a half day on the road on Ronda, which is an awesome road if you ever get a chance to ride it. And half a day around Scarry, which is, is a racetrack, but it's not, nobody actually races here. It's kind of just like a fun playground for motorcycles and cars. What a brilliant test of the bike. So what is the summary of the 1200RR? What it isn't, it isn't a Panigale, Fireblade, gis R, S1000, double R. It's not an out and out sports bike. This is a, a section lower. This is a road focused cafe racer bike that can cut it on track. So what I mean by that is it's still got close to 180 horsepower. It's got semi-active suspension. It's got Brembo style and brakes. It's got grippy Pirelli tires. On track, this can cut it. Yes, you can go on in the fast group and have loads of fun. 
but you can't bury it into corners like a race bike. You've just got to pull back a little bit. It's not a 100% race bike. This is much more of a road bike. But what that does mean is when you're on the road, it's especially when you put it in the different road modes, it's compliant and it's comfortable. And when you're going raid mode, it's really comfortable and really soft. You really feel the difference of that semi-active suspension. When you change the roads, the modes, they make a dramatic change to the suspension. There is a definite difference in throttle response, um, but also in suspension response. So you can have a really comfy plush ride when you just want to take it steady, flick a mode, and the suspension gets taller, and it handles and steers far better than when it's in comfort mode, when it's nice and soft and supple. Personally, I like the looks. Everybody on social media seems to agree with me. I think it's a stunning looking bike. In the UK, it's going to be 18,000 pounds. It's a really interesting bike because I'm not too sure who the competition is. Um, it's kind of on its own as a sporty road bike, I guess. Um, I think it's going to do exceptionally well. It's aiming for that market that don't want raced focus race rep sports bikes but they still want loads of power and they want kind of sophisticated suspension rider modes and looks and that's what this has as a road bike that can put it on track it's an impressive package it'd be interesting to see how it goes at footfall in terms of sales next year but the bike that it's based on the 1200 rs which is very similar has been a real success sales project for Triumph but I think this is a better bike and I think this will outsell it.